Good people, what's going on? Welcome to episode 37 of the Dome Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about my favorite MC, like we've done a few times before, Nas Escobar, 50 years this year in age, the golden child, 50 years of hip hop. The dude dropped Magic 2 and Magic 3 this year. You know what I'm saying? The dude on a six album tear with Hit Boy. You know, some people talk about his discography now being possibly one of the top five discographies in hip hop history. I think some people really think that now with this Hit Boy run, which I think some people uh, might be sleeping on the significance of Hit Boy and Nas at this point in Nas' career. If you take off these last six albums, where does Nas' discography fit? Now, some people might have still had him top five, top ten discography, but I think this last run really have people looking at it like, okay, this is something different now. This is that maybe that classic period, you know, no hyperbole, but maybe that period of, you know, Marvin Gaye and Stevie Wonder in the 70s when they just kept on releasing music album after album. So, it's been great for Nas. You know what I'm saying? He's riding high right now. And, you know, like I was telling some people on the podcast the other week, I think he's going to do another album next year. But this episode 37 is about Nas worst album. And that's always been up for some interesting discussion, you know, because first, let me tell you the, these probably my top 10 Nas albums. So we can move these out the way. Illmatic. It was written. Number two, Stillmatic. Life is Good, KD3, Magic 3, God's Son, I Am, KD2, and Magic 1. Let me say that again. Number one, I have Illmatic. Number two, I have It Was Written. Number three, I have uh, Stillmatic. Number four, I have Life is Good, Deluxe Version. Number five, I have KD3. Number six, I have Magic 3. Number seven, I have God's Son. Number eight, I have I Am. Number nine, I have KD2. And number 10, I have Magic. Those probably my 10 favorite Nas albums. That's probably 10, maybe in order, which if you look at this, out of my top 10 Nas albums, I have KD3 at number five, Magic 3 at number six, and Magic at number 10. Now, these are three albums from this six-album run in the last three and a half, four years, and this is a Nas career dating back to 1994 with Illmatic. So I just think that, first of all, for you to be able to drop three albums that can potentially go in your top 10 in your discography 30 years into your career puts Nas in, in, in GOAT conversation. Like I said, I previously thought that maybe Nas has eclipsed Rock Him to me now. That's just me personally. Uh, and I, I've talked about the greatest MCs on other episodes. Hopefully, you can check those out on the Dome uh, podcast on YouTube. Uh, but now let's talk about albums that didn't make it into my top 10 Nas albums Nostradamus, Nazir, Untitled, Hip Hop is Dead, KD1, Streets Disciple. Now, some would say that Untitled, uh, it, it might be right out of his top 10, it shouldn't be mentioned in his worst album conversation. Now, when I say worst album, it's not a diss. Every great artist in every genre will have albums that people rank. You know what I'm saying? Some some album is going to be at the bottom. You might like that album, but maybe the masses felt like it, it might be their weakest body of work. And that doesn't mean bad. Some people, uh, worse is better than some people best. We're talking about Nas here. You know what I'm saying? So we go to Untitled first. I thought the Untitled or the Nigga album had the makings of a really, really dope album. Some of the songs on there are stellar, man. And I love that Louis Farrakhan song. I, I, I love, I love. Um, well, there's a song called Association that he did with, I think, Stick Man from Dead Prayers, but it's on the nigga mixtape. I really wish they would have put that on the album. You know what I'm saying? But there's songs on on the, on the Untitled, man. The joint with the fried chicken with Buster Rhymes, man. Uh, like I said, the Louis Farrakhan song, man. A Sly Fox, man. He did some Fox News, man. Like, it was the makers of something special, but I really wish he would have put, he would have went on and had Stick Man. He would have done the album with Stick Man from Dead Press. You know what I'm saying? To keep that focus because some of the songs uh, on that mixtape was better than the songs on the album. Some people still love Untitled. Untitled was dope. 
uh, to a lot of people. I think it's okay. I, I, and only because I know it could have been so much better. You know what I'm saying? What Nas had going on, man. So I will still probably put I uh, Untitled, excuse me, on the lower end. We'll get back to Untitled. Nostradamus is generally uh, looked at as Nas' worst album by a lot of Nas fans and a lot of hip-hop fans. I think about Nostradamus very interesting because obviously right now is the talk about the some of the I Am songs on that vinyl going to be released, and it, it brings up conversations from uh, the first Lost Tapes and stuff like that and what could have been with I Am and which I am still made like number eight or nine on my on my top ten Nas uh, albums, but anyway, the original I Am autobiography double CD would have been probably one of Nas' best albums, probably right after it was written, um, in the top three potentially, with the track listener we thought was going to come out. Um, but nevertheless, Nostradamus did have to me Life We Chose. Project Windows, which the first original Project Windows from the bootleg from 99 was better, but uh, they did something fucking to the song, but the original uh, Project Wonder was better. But nevertheless, you, you had Life We Chose, you had Project Wonder, you had Family with Mob Deep, you had uh, the joint, uh, I think with Nation with Nas at my prison cell, it's that, uh, it's that joint, man, he's talking about being in prison, you know, it's a it's an ill song, uh, Couple of good songs on there, man. Uh, you know, so it's probably a little hated, hated more than it should be. But the consensus for a lot of people, Nasdaqamas is uh, is Nas' worst album. Uh, Nasir comes in the conversation. You know, people think I bash Nasir. Only reason, only reason why I have these thoughts about Nas Nasir is because Nas was doing an album with Kanye West. Okay. So all the stuff that we've seen with Hit Boy, KD2, KD3, Magic, that's what people thought Kanye was going to bring when you think about the songs that Nas and Kanye had been on together. You know what I'm saying? That uh, the joint they did on uh, We Made You on, on Late Registration, the joint uh, Still Dreaming on on, on, on Hip Hop is Hip Hop is Dead, you know what I'm saying, and, and stuff like that. So you're thinking, man, Nas and Kanye – maybe the greatest MC and, and one of the greatest artists and one of the greatest producers in the history of the culture are together. You think they about to drop five mic project. You know what I'm saying? And for me, that Nasir is, is Nas' worst pro mixed album. I don't want to say worst produced because some people might like the beats. I don't love the beats. I like Cops Shot the Kid and I think the Adam and Eve joint beat, but I don't love the production on the album, but it's definitely the most uh, uh, worst engineered. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it sounds terrible in terms of sound. It sounds off. Nas flow. It sounds like when they, when I guess when Kanye was throwing it together, it just doesn't, doesn't sound put together. So not, so Nas is Nas' worst put together album. If you listen to that album compared to all his other albums, you might like some of the songs better, but they don't sound clean. They don't sound clear. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I feel. Magic 2. Can be in the discussion as Nas' worst album. Uh, they might be blasphemy for some people, but Magic 2, when we look at the Hit Boy run, it's the last album for me. You know what I'm saying? I got like KD3, Magic 3, KD2, Magic 1, uh, KD, and then Magic 2. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I definitely think that Magic 2 is the worst out of the Hit Boy series. And I think that it's in consideration for the bottom tier of Nas' uh, discography catalog, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's just, I, there are some good songs on it, but Magic 2 kind of sound like a mixtape to me. Uh, it doesn't feel like an album. Cause even Magic 1 to me, it felt like a dope, a dope EP or a dope short album. Magic 2, that's Magic 1 I mean, but Magic 2 doesn't even sound like an album to me. It feels like I don't like a mixtape. I don't know. Uh, it has some good songs on it, but it's on a low echelon of Nas uh, catalog. Um, Hip Hop is Dead. Now, this is the one that is very frustrating to me because Hip Hop is Dead ended so strong. When you think about Hold Down, the Hold Down the Block, oh, uh, man, uh, the drunk with the game on it. Still dreaming with Kanye on it. Uh, Let there be light, man. There is, you know, Black Republican. 
man, there are some joints on hip hop. It's dead, man. Like, oh my God. You know, and then the first track uh, is hard. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, same with Untitled, just like with Hip Hop is Dead, there's a song or two or three just so out of place on the album. You know what I'm saying? Like, the joint, um, what's the name of that song, man? It escapes me right now, but there's just a couple of songs on, on, on Hip Hop is Dead, the beginning of the album, close to the beginning of the album. I'm like, I don't really feel on the album. Same thing with Untitled. You have the, the track make, make the world go around or something like that with Chris Chris Brown. I'm like, why is this on Untitled? Why is that song going there? But Association with Stickman is not on there when Untitled is supposed to have a theme. Hip Hop is Dead does have a theme, but that who who killed it, whatever he was trying that maybe I don't know if there's Humphrey Bogart or some kind of voice he was using. I don't know what he was doing, but he didn't execute that song right. You know what I'm saying? He didn't execute a few songs on Hip hop is dead the way he should have, but it ended very strong. You know what I'm saying? The drum was Snoop. Yeah, I mean, so hip hop is dead, man. It, it, it has some strong songs on there, but it had some misses, just like Untitled had some misses. Streets Disciple now, the double CD. You know, if the original I Am double CD comes out, you probably don't get Streets Disciple because he's probably no artist probably gonna try two double CDs. So, so if the original I Am drops, you don't even get the Street Disciple. Street Disciple had some great Nas songs on it. Great Nas songs on it. The problem was, like some double CDs, is if you condense Street Disciple to one album and you are taking the best 15 songs from Street Disciple, oh, man, that joint Live Now. Oh, my God. Say cool story, man. Ooh, it, it was some joints on there, man. Like, he really had some dope songs where – to be honest with you, I can take 15 songs from Streets Disciple and the way the production is, the way some of the songs are written, it sounds like KD3. Now, I know a lot of people might not be putting that together, but if you take like 15 songs from Street Disciple, you can sequence it and it'll sound like KD3. So then I know, I know some people saying, well, if we got songs that are that good, why is it close to your, your bottom you know, half of or close to the bottom of Nas' discography. Well, that's because there's some filler on there that just wasn't executed that well. It should have been scrapped. You know what I'm saying? It should have never made the album. You know what I'm saying? But if you take like 15 songs off of it, it's really got some joints on it. You know what I'm saying? So this is what makes it very hard. Um, looking at KD1, I don't love KD1. Um, there are songs on, on uh, The Cure, I think. Of course, the joint with the firm on it, full circle. Uh, the uh, what's the name of the other song, man? The definition, you know what I'm saying? So, there's some dope songs on KD1. I just don't love it overall. It's a good album, but it's in the lower half of the Hit Boy run as well for me. You know what I'm saying? I think I, like I said, I think I have it number five and then uh, Magic 2 number six. You know what I'm saying? So obviously I don't I know it won a Grammy. I'm glad Nas won a Grammy for the for the album. I think that was his first album they ever won a Grammy, which of course to me that's nuts. But nevertheless, um he did win it, so that's a big win for him and Hit Boy. So you're happy for that. But just in the terms of me ranking, um, I think that ranks very low uh on, on Nas uh list. Now I don't I didn't add the firm album because it's a compilation. I didn't add QB's finest into to the equation. Uh didn't add distant relatives, but obviously it's him and Damian Marley. I think Damian Marley held the album down a little bit more than Nas did. I think Damian Marley was really in his bag. It's kind of like a Damian Marley album featuring Nas to me personally, because Nas always had maybe only one verse on every song, and Damian Marley was having verses and hooks and everything. I mean, it's a dope project though, you know what I'm saying? And obviously it's better than some of Nas albums, you know what I'm saying? So that's not even, I'm not discussing that with Nas worse. Now, going back to Nasir, when you throw an album together that fast, would you feel like it was rushed? We know it was rushed because, you know, Kanye rambling on recently. They had that video that came out of Kanye rambling about uh, several artists. He said something about Tiana Taylor, which that album he did for Tiana was dope. But for some reason, he rambling about that and upset about that. He talked about uh, Pusha T, giving Pusha T, um, that Daytona, he mad about Daytona and 
You know, you feel like they told me it was like Darter's defense and why I give it to him. Or what do you mean? You gave him a dope, dope album. I mean, dope beats and he killed it production wise. And you dissing Pusha, but Pusha is one of your writers, he helped you out as an artist. So, not really sure what was going on with that. Didn't even say something about And now it's rapping off beat on one of my songs. And I'm like, well, Kanye, that's your fault. Because not only are you a beat maker, you're a producer, you're an executive producer. So, instead of y'all, for whatever reason, not sure why. You finally, and you said on Drink Champs the other year, now it's destined to be the greatest, now it's the greatest, now it's this, that, and third. Why Why did you rush Nas' project? Why did Nas have beats like the beats from Daytona? Or even the production, I think, that you, that you did with uh with Kid Cudi. The kids have see Ghosts or something like that. I mean, that was a dope album, what you did with Cudi. You know what I'm saying? So you were a legendary MC, and y'all rush a project, or you rush it because you're the, you're the producer. You don't let nothing hit the ground until you listen to it, make sure it's sequenced right, make sure it's mixed right, and you know, engineered everything, and the sound is dope. You didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? For me, you didn't do that. It's on what seven, six, seven songs on Nazir. Y'all should have really got together, really got in the studio, and did it the right way, and did an album with like 10 songs on it, and really pushed it out there to the masses in a big way. Because you're Kanye West, you know what I'm saying. So that's one of your failed projects, man. You get mad at Nas, and I know you know you can say, "Well, Nas a legendary MC; he should have stopped it." But sometimes, the, the, sometimes the artists ride with the producer, you know what I'm saying, and he rolled with you. And, and to me, it's, you dropped the ball. So I would say that right now I'm leaning towards Nas Zero being Nas' worst album. You know what I'm saying, like for real. Nostradamus is right there. You can debate Nostradamus. Um, how do you think Magic 2 holds up against uh, some of these? How would you rank? Let's do this, because I already told you about my top 10 Nas albums. I'll say it one more time. Illmatic, It Was Written, Stillmatic, Life Is Good, The Lux Version, KD3, Magic 3, Godson, I Am, KD2, Magic. Okay, now how would you rank or rate Nostradamus, Nasir, Untitled, Magic 2, Hip Hop Is Dead, Streets Disciple, uh, KD1? You know what I'm saying? Like those albums. How would you how would you rank those albums in Nas discography? Would you have, if you started at number one, would you have as the best out of that group is uh hip hop is hip hop is dead versus untitled? How do how do those sound? How do those match up? What's better between hip hop is dead and untitled? What's better between uh Magic 2 and Nazir? You know, what's best between Nostradamus and uh Streets Disciple, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I would say this, though, just for conversation purposes, I feel like Streets Disciple, if I could, and I know you can't do this, but if I could put this in a 15-song sequence, my own version, it would be better than all these albums. If I could put Street Disciple together in 15 songs, to me it's better than Nostradamus, Nazir, Untitled, Meditude, Hip Hop is Dead, KD1. It's better than all of them, you know what I'm saying? But since I can't do that, I have to rank Street Disciple down kind of low. Now, some people feel Street Disciple is underrated. You know what I'm saying? Some people feel like even with it being a double CD, it's overlooked. You know what I'm saying? Because it got some Disciple on there. You know what I'm saying? And it got a lot of storytelling on there. You know, you got the Live Now on there. You know, it, it's got, you got, the, you got that Suicide Bounce Man, the first track on the, on the second disc with him and, and Buster. I think Nas produced that song. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it has some joint song of that letter to the to the letter to the feds or something like that. I think uh, Q-Tip did that. You know, or which one did Q-Tip did? Q-Tip did a song on 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 Street Disciple. Uh, now it might be the joint with the Ice Cube uh, sample, um, but I can't remember right. And that's been years since I listened to it. I probably should listen to it uh, recently before I even recorded this, but just for the sake of conversation. But I just haven't heard the album in a long time. Um, but how does those rank? You know what I'm saying? Like, or or any of these in Nas top 10 to you, and I'm tripping, and, and I need to move Godson out of the top 10, and, uh, or, or I am, and or, or does Godson and I am consider some, some of Nas, I guess, lower tier albums to you? I mean, go both of them made my top 10 Nas uh, albums, but you might want to move something out and add in. Like, would you add Nostradamus in Nas top 10? Probably not. Would you add Hip Hop is Dead in there? Mm. Probably not. Would you add Untitled in there? Some people love Untitled, though. 
But would you add that in there? You know what I'm saying? We know Nasir is not in Nas' top 10 albums. You know what I'm saying? So there's just conversations and just thoughts, man. I was just thinking about it as I was commuting today. I was like, man, you know, I need to do an episode about Nas' albums and just really rank his 10. And then we talk about the, the ones left over and see uh, what would be, I guess, his less appealing and pleasing album. So in your opinion, uh, what's Nas? I hate to say it like this, but what's five albums that you feel like you rank them? Well, not five to seven, I guess, albums that you feel like, eh, these are the lower tier Nas albums, and why? Was it the production? Was it the lyrics? I didn't even add Lost Tapes 2 up here. Now, whoa, stop the press. Lost Tapes 2 wasn't good to me. Now, if I look at Lost Tapes, see, I didn't add Lost Tapes in here or Lost Tapes 2. I know some people are like, oh, what about Lost Tapes? Well, I was looking at them like compilations, you know what I'm saying, of you know, unreleased music. But obviously, if that wasn't the case, and I'm going to use Lost Tapes 1 as an album, then yeah, one of these moving off. Then I actually think Godson comes off. You know what I'm saying? I actually think that, because I like I Am better than Godson. You know what I'm saying? So I think Godson comes off and Lost Tapes goes into Nas' uh, top 10 albums, probably top five albums. You know what I'm saying? Lost Tapes 2 would be in that lower bracket because outside of that freestyle joint that's really, really dope, one of my favorite Nas songs of all times, though, um, is like is a uh, beautiful life. You know what I'm saying? It sounded like a beautiful life was recorded during um, um, during uh, Life Is Good. It sounded it fits perfect on the album. So I think a beautiful life was scrapped from Life Is Good, which I don't know why, because it, it fits perfectly as the last track on Life Is Good. You know what I'm saying? So a beautiful life is one of my favorite Nas songs. I actually listen to that song literally like once a week. Seriously. Uh, but outside of that, and maybe two or three other songs on Lost Takes 2, it just wasn't good. And this is Lost Takes 2 with RZA and Pete Rock. Well, QB's politics, QB politics is, is dope too. But this is the one with all these great Illmatic and other producers, Alchemist, everybody on there. But you got the Illmatic producers, then you got RZA, Alchemist, all these guys got songs on Lost Takes 2. And Lost Takes 2 is on the bottom tier of, of, of Nas albums. And we're going to add Lost Takes 1 and Lost Takes 2. All takes two is down uh, to me with Nazir and, and Nostradamus. You know what I'm saying? And my and magic too, in my opinion. But that's just me, man. So I just had that thought, man. Uh, but anyway, man, Nas has had a phenomenal career so far. I think he's gonna drop that primo album, like I told the guys on uh, the rap round table I was on there a couple of weeks ago or whatever. I do think the primo album is gonna happen. I do think that he's gonna do other albums with other people. If he does a primo album, even if it doesn't live up to expectations, it's not going to be on the bottom tier of Nas discography. You know that. If he does something with No ID or or does something with uh, LES or anyone, or Havoc, where's the Havoc album at? He's, he talked about having an album worth of music with Havoc from the 90s. The fact, the fact that that never leaked, no songs ever leaked, is the craziest thing to me. And I wonder what it during the time of it, right after it was written. Where are these Havoc songs at? It wouldn't be down here either, man. So I think my vote would be, man, between Lost Tapes 2 and Nazir, man. I don't know what you guys think, man. Episode 37, man. Had a good time, man. Y'all have a good weekend, man. God bless.